Biz. Bloody brilliant. Biz. Bloody brilliant sport. And welcome back to the Bloody Brilliant Beers podcast brought to you by Blue Bears. That's Cuts. I am Das. We are Bloody Brilliant Beers. We started out reviewing craft beers on Facebook and now we bring you the conversation that you'd more than likely hear from the front bar at your local. And Cuts, you mate, where are we on this glorious Wednesday evening? Right, once again, we are coming live from the Caxton Hotel. And I just want to give a quick shout out to another man just sitting in the room with us this evening. Chat him out. Donald the Cuck. Woo! Um, <laughs> that was some really, really good work there. DJ On Donnie. the slider. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. He's, crazy he's that, fucked it up before. Crazy that that was our smoothest one. Yeah. <laughs> Magic fingers, baby. That's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what, back, that's, that's, what, that's what they call him, fucking yeah. the resident of Mount Cutha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is our sports show. Uh, if you're tuning in to hear about a breakdown of, you know, uh, in-game st- statistics, and I never, I can never do this. Always <laughs> fuck this up. Yeah. yeah. Stats and analysis, Klutzy, we'd ask that people... F- f- fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> kindly fuck Get off. Get out of here, man. Kindly <laughs> fuck off, you geek. Yeah. Um, off the top of the, the show, I know I say we're not a stats and numbers uh, show, but i got a few numbers to throw out there, and I want to see if they mean anything to any of you. Oh, here we go. First number is 178. Ah, it doesn't mean shit. Nah, nah. One of my least favourite numbers. 4,272? No. No. 256,320? No. No, nothing. Uh. Nothing. Well, Donnie, you should get to know them because there's 178 days, 4,272 4, hours, or 256 320 minutes since the Cowboys, uh, before the Cowboys will set field on the NRL field once again, mate, because they've been knocked out of the eight. Uh, oh, and the some end. could say they kind of suck ass. We did yeah. get there in the end, right where Klutzy and I predicted all season, listen, where yeah. we'd listen. be playing finals football and you wouldn't be. Yep. So These things happen. No one was on here predicting that they'd go on to do great and bold things all season. Yeah. I was always having very timid expectations sure. the whole year. I always do. I never blow my own horn about the cows. So I feel like this is okay, you know? I I feel like this is a moment where we could take the <laughs> screenshot of you right now wearing that shirt and put it on another shirt because it's a f- it would, it's a time of you saying you never toot your own horn and crow the cows and you're literally wearing a shirt of you doing that. Yeah. So oh. we might have to arrange a new shirt yeah. for next week. Saturday night was rough. It was rough. But at, le- yeah. at least the only semblance we got is that we didn't deliver the Broncos the minor premiership. So I guess if you can take anything from a season, which you really shouldn't be taking anything, at least there's that, I guess. But it's pretty it's pretty rough. Thoughts, pretty feelings, great. and emotions when you saw that the Panthers hadn't rested anyone. Mm. Fear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they do say as well? First is the worst, second is the best. So um, let's go Broncos. Um, I was listening to Holly Sport today um, and... They were saying something about the Cowboys and mm. their excuse for their season. They said, oh, we didn't get it right in preseason. Yeah, yeah. well, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I didn't realise it was a uh, full stop on that. No, well, I, I do agree that it makes it hard. I also listened to this last night. Mm-hmm. Fuck, everyone loves talking about the cows sometimes. Uh, like, th- This is what's good about the cows is they normally fly under the radar. Yeah. yeah. So then when it does get brought up, like I, how many times do you reckon Hello Sport have ever spoken about the Cowboys? Shit Six, tons. maybe. Like, Shit tons. No way. No one ever talks about the cows. They fly under the radar. So then when someone does talk about them, it cuts a little bit deeper. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I'm not used to this kind of yeah, spotlight. Right. I think you're really lucky that South capitulated so badly mm, because yeah. if it wasn't for them, I think people would be having the similar sorts of conversations Conversation about exactly. the Cowboys. No one's talking about para. That's how bad they no, are. No, I agree. No That's one talks about They're in a fucking yeah. grand final last yeah, year. Yeah, it's true. And they didn't even look like they might. But no, the preseason thing is one thing to say. Obviously, they had a lot of guys go to the World Cup. A lot of guys play Origin. And then a lot of guys play Origin again. But Like the Broncos. but Like the Broncos. Mm. Like, like there's no real excuse. Like excuses. Penrith, yep. But Melbourne. it's all good. You're in, you're in year, year three of a five-year plan. Went to a prelim last year, <laughs> learnt some lessons this year. Next year, you move on and you win the whole thing. Like, it's not a big deal. Chill. Well, enjoy the next 256,000 minutes because <laughs> um, Klutzy and I will be enjoying the game on Friday night, won't we, Josh? Yes, it will be. It's we've, actually going to be great. We've actually got a bit of a debate plan, so... I'll actually be enjoying this game, too. I've got tickets. Oh, nice. Yeah. For uh, people listening yeah. out there, um, yeah. Josh... So yeah, 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 yeah. You got tickets, but you don't go for the Broncos, and you've got tickets. Yeah, I've got tickets. And yeah. you're going to the game. I'm going to the game. Yeah, I'm going to the game as well to support Melbourne. Oh yeah, because yeah. you're a Melbourne. Because I'm a Melbourne fan, so, so you got to go make, and support your team. That makes sense. That if your team is in a final in your city, you'd go and watch them. Play. Fucking oath, my team's in a final in my city, you and have to I'm going to go, go along and watch it. Josh, what 100%. is your city? That's what. What time are we picking up Dars on Friday? <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> 
to ask what time are you get yeah. to the game on Friday? I'm not going to the game on Friday. Oh, you're not going to the game yeah, on no, Friday? No, no fucking what do you way. Mean? What do you mean you're going to the game on Friday? Well, for those listening who might not be aware, I currently have tap ass for one, <laughs> um, shitting through the eye of a needle. Um, also, Donny clued me onto this during the week. Said there's something coming on the podcast that's going to make you feel so bad, and I'm so glad it was this because I've had been worried about it all week, and this is nothing. Like. No, 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 <laughs> it hasn't happened no, yet. No, no. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yeah, so good. I'll just say own? that's a bit of a letdown. So, so, yeah, how come you're not going? How come I'm not going to the game? Yeah, well, because you were going reasons. before Tapas. Huh? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not just yeah, that. This that is ta- some Cowboys preseason shit right here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. So excuses. Well, Josh and I have a competition coming up. There's going to be something pretty big riding on it. We haven't announced it yet, but we've agreed to something. That's based off my marathon time, mm. which is next weekend. Mm. I've just had a week on the piss, spent way more money than I need to. So I'm not drinking between now and said race. Mm. One, which you can also go. I, I have realised that they like forced you to drink at some court. Well, mm. I've I been... realise. I'm yeah, getting no, there. Hang on. I've, I've been cutting down the piss the whole time I've been training. So it's not a new thing. Second, you've been coming down the piss for the last five years, which is a great thing. Great, yeah, good call. That's awesome. Um, the other thing is, I genuinely don't like watching the footy at Suncorp. Say whatever you want. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Is that? I'm no, no, no. That. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Can I? Can I? I genuinely don't like watching footy at Suncorp. <laughs> if I genuinely don't like watching footy at Suncorp, that's unhinged. What I'm trying to that's say is, crazy he- to say. every time I go to a game, it's for that moss and going out with your mates, getting on the piss, right? Like it's fun as fuck. Yeah. But I go home and have to rewatch the game the next day because I never pay close attention to it so my thing here though with that is two of the biggest moments that we've both experienced one together this year and another one not together last year was origin and you didn't want to get tickets to either of those games Mm. yeah and then you went and arguably the best games ever yeah best games ever well yeah but i've also seen a fuckload of good games at home like yeah but would you not have been upset being at home after watching Ben Hunt run the length of the field to score mm. a game-winning try in an Origin Series when you had the opportunity to go there? Potentially. Like, hard to be upset Definitely. after that game. I think the worst part about that would be not coming to the Caxton afterwards. Yeah. Um, but, no, I think it's a mixture of everything. Like, don't mm. want to drink, want to have a chill weekend and would prefer to watch the actual game home. I'm going to be beside myself. I genuinely thought about it today getting in the car. I was like, holy fuck, like... It's finals time, and I got mm. scared. Yeah, like, I haven't felt scared all... Like, obviously, you want to win every week, yeah. but it's mm. not like there's nowhere near as much riding mm. on the game on the weekend. I was like, I can't wait to be parked up on the couch. Yeah. few fucking so pepperoni pizzas. Few, so, you're making a choice to abstain from finals footy at Suncorp this season. Yeah, much like you make a choice to abstain having sex. So, <laughs> you're not going to go... <laughs> Uh, unnecessary, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry, drive by. Uh, Finger bangs. Yeah. Choice. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, so I got confused there. Not a choice. This is what makes me upset, is because I was going to surprise the group with this. Yeah. Okay. I've secured Cat One tickets to a Broncos home final this year, whether that be next week's or the prelim and you're telling me that you, you're going to brush me you're not going to come with me I was going to gift it to the podcast as a thank you for the great season that we've had I was like, the great oh year that we've had well, together God. if it's this Friday I'm not going and if it's next weekend I'll be in, in Sydney so I can't go he's going to brush me he's I'm brushing well, let's now. say it's a prelim what's well, I don't know what's the week pre- after the week after the preliminary final so the 23rd cycle. yeah yeah I'll come it's after the marathon oh okay so he picks and chooses yeah, <laughs> that's what that's that was my first reasoning was I have the marathon on. Remember? Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, there you go. That's my gift for you. I thought you were going to say no. If, <laughs> so wait, if the Bronx, um, if the Bronx win, doesn't matter if they win or lose, they've got a home final. If again, they lose, they've got a home final next, next week. week. If yes. not, it's the twenty third. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, if it's next week, I'm not coming. But if it's after the marathon, fuck well, no. Next week, me and Klutz will go. Yeah. We'll paint the town. Yeah. The I, I literally <laughs> can't go next week, so I'll be in Sydney. I could have gone on Friday, but I'm not going to. Oh no! Crazy there you go. It's just I, at least I have that little soundbite. I get played. People call my show each week and play the clip. Cowboys suck ass. I now have. I genuinely don't like watching footy at Suncorp. <laughs> just at my disposal. Yeah, but like I'm happy to 
<laughs> Happy for you to have that. <laughs> it doesn't haunt my dreams like the shirt you currently wear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if someone asks me that tomorrow, I'll tell them the same thing. But speaking of which, you have a debate. We sorry do for, have sorry a debate. Sidetracking your that's whole okay. experience. Yeah, okay. that's okay. Um, yeah, as people may or may not know, uh, Friday night is it Friday or Thursday? Friday. Friday. Classic. Of yeah. course, you don't know when your team yeah. playing a major game. Yeah. Well, yeah. All good. Donnie probably wouldn't know because he fucking can't remember the last time they did. <laughs> I but know because I'm going, bruh. <laughs> what, to your team's game? No. In 2,000, 200,000 well, minutes. Someone's going to support someone else's Someone's going to support, <laughs> the, Broncos gonna support the Broncos. Broncos. Yeah, exactly. Someone does. Um, Josh and I support the Storm and the Broncos. Uh, Didn't understand that at all after the last 10 minutes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who were playing in a, uh, the first game of the finals on Friday night, not Thursday apparently. Mm. Um, so we've come up with... Uh, an idea to basically have a debate ahead of the game. Donnie can be the adjudicator, much like a year seven debate. Um, we'll have... Uh, voice of reason. Yeah, a Maz debater, I guess. We'll have um, in the corner. Not in a year seven debate. <laughs> I'd hope not. Only some some of us at that stage, not all. Uh, but yeah, we're both, we've both got three points uh, and then we'll have a bit of a rebuttal each. Do you want to go first, Josh, or do you want me to go first? Fuck, three points. Yeah, right. I just you just right. told me you had fucking shitloads. Yeah. Oh, you've got more than three. I got points. more than three. Yeah, oh, okay, you're putting yeah. a funnel on him. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. A muzzle. Right, no. A muzzle. <laughs> right. I edit, so I always put muzzles on people. <laughs> so I'm a um, I like having a look at just omenry sort of stuff. Mm. Now, Dar said on yesterday's podcast, um, he slept through an earthquake. Yep. Seven point two magnitude earthquake in Bali. True Literally, story. Literally. Shook the fucking buildings <laughs> of people that we know two minutes up the road. So him and his missus slept through Both that. Both of us, yeah. Is that not fucked? That's sleeping like a baby stuff. You would yeah. think that if you're in a building that is rocking, not yeah. because of your own motions. No, I was out like a light. Yeah. That's how chilly that it is about Friday's game. you'd be shitting yourself. <laughs> well, last night, there was a storm that rolled in from out west yep. to Woomba Way. And it did one of the biggest thunderclaps <laughs> that this fucking nation has ever seen. And it woke the whole of Brisbane up. <laughs> Myself and Darcy included. Included. And everyone's gone, holy fuck. The storm announced their arrival to fucking Brisbane last <laughs> night in a natural way. You know what's actually fucked about this? I, my missus and I obviously share a bed. Um, woke us, be nice. Woke <laughs> Woke us both up, <laughs> shaking the house, and yeah. I was like, "Holy fuck, there's an earthquake!" Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, you know when you realize when you have those thoughts in your sleep, you're like, that was silly.' Obviously, I'm not in Bali. I'm home. There's not an earthquake. Yeah. And I like roll back over to go to sleep, and my missus was like, "Holy fuck, I thought that was an earthquake." Yeah. I was like, oh, "Me too." <laughs> so, so yeah, big it's storm. Just pretty cracked that uh, we had a, a natural storm that rolls in and wakes up the entirety of Brisbane. Which mm. is much like on Friday night, I think that everyone was woken up. Despite the teams that were playing, you've just got to fucking play with what you got. Mm. I like a that. 10 like that. Um, a 10-point victory. A natural arrival. A natural arrival. <laughs> or it could have just been the hoofs of Nelson or Sofa Solomon or running down <laughs> Caxton Street. But we don't fucking know. Trying to get a HSP. Now, on Is top that of first that... Point? That's my first point. Can I rebut that point? Yeah, okay. rebuttal, surely. Good luck. Well, my rebuttal, first of all, if your point is that that was the storm naturally entering, haven't they been here since last week? They're really announcing their arrival. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all... It's because did you, you cunts have been <laughs> so high on your own fucking supply. If, if that was the big storm, did you see Brisbane today flourishing? We flourish after storms. Mate, it was shit out. She's just in the side I was on. It was absolutely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Maybe some parts of Brisbane, but Mate, sure where the Donny lives is probably fucking beautiful. No, it's His not. butler at the door. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. He's going through a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> he, there's it's an hell. avocado shortage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, mate, there was fucking stink everywhere. There's water all over the fucking place. It's muddy. It's shit. Everything. If where you were stepped, you? Mate, well, I was in Logan and then I was That's back not in Brisbane. Everton Park. Logan's That's not, not Brisbane. Brisbane. Then I was back at Everton Park. <laughs> then I was back in Newmarket. Everywhere was fucked. I stepped <laughs> on the grass today in Everywhere Newmarket. My first step of grass, it just went straight to mud because it was that fucking wet. <laughs> Everywhere Man. was fucked. I have to admit, like, I, I, I have a vested interest to back Klutzy in here because of my loathing of the Broncos, but... 
I didn't notice this stank you speak of today yeah. in Brisbane. I didn't notice this. It's stank. so hot. My Not first point. Your cunts are all indoors. <laughs> my first point that I would like to bring up, which actually was going to be my second point, but I'm bringing it forward due to uh, where Clutzy landed with his Lack first point. Lack of material. No, nah, well, there's got three points, which is what I asked everyone to bring, but sure. Um, I actually, got, I actually got a text about a storm this afternoon, which is funny because, as I said, the storm naturally arrived yesterday. <laughs> but sure, uh, I warning. Said that. Just, Sorry. just a bit of a warning. Uh, there's hail forecast for this afternoon. Ooh. So, bit of a warning text: dangerous storm coming. Mm. Receive zero text about Friday. Mm. Not a dangerous storm. Another one that will just pass by. We'll mm. deal with yeah, and move on. onwards and upwards. As we know, Maybe is there a chance the storms come too early? Twice? No, definitely not. Is that definitely a known not. thing of the Melbourne players to come too early? No, no. If we're relying on weather, No, I don't play for Melbourne. My rebuttal to this, if you're done, yeah. is we have stated multiple <laughs> times on this podcast that being a weatherman is literally the easiest fucking job in it the is, world. It is, yeah. It's true. Because you can just put out whatever you want. Okay, oh, that's, right? that, that's fair. I'll cop that. So Did this text come from a weatherman? It might have. No, it came from my insurance company. Yeah, Ooh. but they're in, they've fucking known. They're talking they to the, they're, they're, they're talking to bomb. They're talking they get to bomb. Their information from bomb. <laughs> and Mount Stapleton has been fucking up for the last four months. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, no. So I don't know, man. Okay. Yeah, okay, Do I sure. want a point here? Well, I, I think you just maybe listen to the whole thing and oh, okay, feel, feel okay. free to ask out any questions, probing. I, that was a bit of a. Uh, it's a, it's a tough one since of. How thickly laid in dribble it was, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I, th- I I do I I did experience the thunderclap last yeah. night, but I also feel like that storm may have come and gone. And I, I think was also going to say though, oh, sorry, I oh, actually had an extra part of that point. Oh, sorry, okay. I wasn't able to say this it. might swing me. Um, <laughs> all right, horses. Okay, obviously Broncos. Yep. yep, they are fucking petrified of storms. Mm. They go running from storms. Mm, that's very true. Now, if you're out in the Sanford Valley last night and you go into the Sanford community page, you probably would have seen there was some wild horses. I didn't <laughs> see that. <laughs> Not in there. Yeah. They've gone <laughs> running away. <laughs> They've gone running away because of the storm last yeah, right, night. They got shit the scared clap. because of the clap. They're fucked. <laughs> They got running up the roads. They got they're running f- into neighbouring properties. They're fucked because of the clap. They're fucked because of the clap <laughs> of a storm <laughs> variety. I guess this is my question. You're probably the biggest horse I know. Are you fucked due to clap? I'm actually a bull. <laughs> <laughs> and bulls don't get scared of thunder. Did you, did you get scared? Did you think there was an earthquake last no. night? Or was that just me? No, I no. think, uh, listen, all I know is Brisbane has seen many a storm before and they always build back better. That's yep. what Brisbane does. That's who Brisbane is. And, like, you could argue that last week when you played storm, entry, whatever, the storm last night, natural entrance, whatever, again, tonight with the hail, like, well, we're just weathering storms all week. Off your point that storms always build better or Brisbane comes back better after a storm, why haven't they for the last 14 and a half years? Well, what I'm saying is, like, after Thursday night last week... Maybe that was the storm arriving, and now it's time for Brisbane to build back to Friday night. They've been trying to do it for 14 and a half years. They haven't beaten the cunt since 2009 <laughs> at some Well, that actually leads to my next point, Josh, okay. which I'd listen, listed down. Righto, bull. Would you argue that Ryan Pappenhausen has one of the greatest haircuts in the NRL? Well, I argue he did have one of the greatest haircuts. Yeah. He now looks even hotter with short hair. Because he's cut his hair. Yeah. The mm. Melbourne Storm haven't beaten the Broncos with a short haired Pappy since 2019. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, well, I just scrolled through his Instagram and that's the first photo I saw <laughs> <laughs> with, him, with him without the mullet. So they haven't won since then with him having short uh, hair. The Brisbane Broncos have never beaten a team with Ryan Pappenhausen in it. Oh, well, that's beside the point. He just hasn't played in three years without having a mullet and now he has no mullet. Yeah, but it doesn't matter what his hairdo is because... What, the you Brisbane just said it's the best in the whoa, league. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, but whoa, what whoa, I... Whoa, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, you settle whoa. down there, jury. <laughs> <laughs> jury. <laughs> All right. Yes, he might have cut his hair, but when he did have short hair those years ago, the Broncos still weren't fucking beating him. You know what I mean? No. I doesn't matter got, what you, his haircut is, I'd the Broncos like have cite, fucking intimidated him. i just like to cite precedent in this matter, which is the mustache theory. Yeah. And the mustache theory, it does go to show that... Facial and hair on Melbourne players does affect how they play. Mm. Correct. And currently, right now, Munster doesn't have a stash. That's and Pappy right. has no of, mullet. He's got a bit of f- no stash, no mullet. It got th- That's not worried. nothing. Because I wouldn't read into it normally about the, the hair. It doesn't really matter. I'm a headgear guy, so it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> the, 
the fact that the Mustache Siri has set precedent in the past, it does make me worried. And he's right now just stouting a full bit well, of stubble. The, also, the last, the, like, Pappy's had a mullet for three years. Mm. Josh gets one, cuts it off. Mm. Yeah, right. Well, there's probably nothing in that. <laughs> um, if we're talking about facial hair, then I think that there's a man that is in the storm back line. This is part of my rebuttal. It's not my point. But there is a man in the storm back line. I'll allow, I'll allow it. That is basically making up for everyone's because he has the best mustache in the whole fucking league. And that's young Tony mm, And okay. he's been tearing up in the centres yep. in the last 10 weeks. Can't argue that. Are you trying Can't to say that, that he, his mustache holds the power that when other pubic and facial hair is gone? Well, there's always going to be a facial hair leader on the field, mm. and he's just fucking taking it. He's the taking over the torch, maybe. Yeah, he has. Maybe so. that's why Pappy cut it off, because he's coming back, and he's like, there's already someone there's already someone, someone carrying the, the torch. Yeah, yeah, someone's picked up the throne already. You know, exactly. Might be something in that. I'd, so so what was the stat that they haven't... Well, he hasn't had a short hair since 2019, so there's been three years since they've beaten the Broncos with the short haired Pappy. But your rebuttal to that but was, my they've, rebuttal never was that <laughs> they've never beaten a team. Uh, with I, Brian can Pappen we fact Hassan. check that? Can we fact check that? <laughs> no, you can't because they've won the last 14 games. No, we've uh, 14 facts. games at Suncorp. No, we've won. We have a winning streak against you guys of a lot in a row? of. Yeah. I thought that was just at Suncorp. Again, I don't know. I'm not a it stat guy. It might be 12 guy. in a row with the last 14 at Suncorp. Yeah. Yeah. So, either way, it's shit tons. Yeah. Um, looking good. Okay, so my second point. You just slam dunked you. Yeah. My second point, then, is that Melbourne Storm is actually technically, due to COVID times, a Queensland-based team. Um, and <laughs> the whole team is basically the core players are made up of Queenslanders. Mm. Now, what does that mean? They're coming back to their spiritual home. Mm. Now, you might say you have your likes of your Paddy Carrigans and your Reese Walshes and all that. Your we father, have, yeah, Reece Walsh. Exactly. But we have fucking Munster. We've got uh, Xavier Coates. We've got Christian Welch. Mm. We've got Harry Grant. Mm. That's just four boys off the top of my head who are going to come in and be back at their spiritual but home and be so fucking happy. I I would argue that what's so good about being a Queenslander? Well, because the Queensland Another based team. insane clip to have on the show. No, I'm not just... I'm, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I agree it's good to be a Queenslander, but I'd like to eat it out of Josh's mouth so I can use it against him is what I'm getting what's at. What's so good to be a Queenslander? Well, because these boys have been away from home for so long, being down in Melbourne, right? That's got nothing to do with being a Queenslander, though. Well, it does because they miss their home that much, and every time they come away, because they're not playing there as yeah, much, but that, what, they feel like they need to put more pride in their jersey and more pride because they're away from their families and their communities, and they feel like they have to give back every time they step on that field, so they play even fucking harder. That's not what I asked. I said, "What's so good about being a Queenslander?" Could it be argued? Not sorry, not sorry. I know what you're that's saying. That's what I just answered. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, daft cunt. I mean, I mean, like. What's so good about being a Queenslander for every Queenslander, not just the ones that play for Melbourne? I'm only talking about Melbourne, though. That's yeah, part of my debate. That's not what I'm asking. I'm yeah, asking well, for I'm every Queenslander in the world, what makes it so good about being a Queenslander? Well, I'm only talking about the Melbourne-specific ones because it helps my argument. Yeah, well, but okay. Let's say for a second you weren't. You weren't. <laughs> oh, well, I'd like to play the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Could it be argued that potentially with these young Queensland throbbers, that they might be somewhat shell shocked come Friday night due to the fact that when they do normally play up here, donning the maroon, that it is in a warm environment, not a hostile one. Hasn't affected them the last fourteen years. <laughs> He's got you there, Don. Hasn't affected. But them. what I was going to say, it's basically the long and short of my rebuttal. There was it's all well and good for Clutter to use the Queensland angle, and he loves Queensland. He's a Queenslander, but like by your theory of fucking why you support Melbourne, you may as well support New South Wales. Nah. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> you support Queensland because you're from there, but you go for fucking Melbourne. <laughs> like, you're playing both ends of the spectrum. But that has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> yes, I it does. It doesn't. It's interesting. It's an interesting way to look at it. There's Queensland is coming back to Queensland, but it could be argued that the Broncos, like, it, you're saying that Suncorp is their spiritual home. It's the Broncos' actual home. home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know when you beat... All right, Thank so you. <laughs> Darcy, how did you feel getting back to your house on Monday? So you, good. So good, so relieved. Yeah, but it was my actual house, not my spiritual house, because the Caxton's my spiritual Queensland house. Queensland is the boys' actual home. So they fly, they come back up here. Yeah, you live in Melbourne. They live down there in Melbourne, and that's where they fucking but play. they live in Melbourne. Like, I was getting back to where I live, not where my spiritual home is. Yeah, but they're getting back to their actual home. No, they're spiritual home. They don't live there like the Broncos do. Yeah, they don't live there, but it is their yeah, home. Yeah, so it's not like me getting to the place where I live. 
What's the they? What's the fucking <laughs> saying? Um, you can take the country that. out of the boy, but you can't take the boy. Oh, you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take the boy out of Queensland. <laughs> Can't take the Queensland <laughs> out of the boy. Nice, yeah. yeah. Uh, home's where the heart is. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That, that old chestnut. And the heart is in Queensland. So okay, well, to put an end to that fucking downward spiral, <laughs> my third and final point is... It's um, going to be trash like your other two. When we are in Melbourne, Josh, for your one and only time in the state, yeah. do you remember we got a photo in front of something? Yeah, it was a statue. No. In uh, well, Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking with the budgie guys in the morning, near where we stayed. Oh, fuck, I can't Painting remember. Painting on the wall. Man. Oh, yeah, Warney. Yep, one of the greats. Yeah. What, like, why would they have painted him? Why would he have a mural? Oh, because he's a great. So they do paintings of greats. Well, it's maybe. It's because something was erected this week in Brisbane, and oh, it was yeah, a painting dude, was, of a couple of fucking greats, Paddy Carrigan really good. and Adam Reynolds. All right, my rebuttal to that is the last time they did that was fucking Chris Lynn with the heat, and then we went on one of the biggest <laughs> losing streaks Did Chris Lynn get ever. a mural? Yeah, down in the valley. <laughs> it was so fun. I think the Bronx one's in the valley too. Oh, br- I didn't know Chris Lynn had one. Because I remember Charlie Cameron got one. Yeah, Charlie Cameron got one, but they did one for Chris Lynn, and we went on one of the all-time yeah. losing streaks ever but like, in Big Bash history. Yeah. It's just an outlier. Yeah. Chris Lynn's always been a bit of an outlier, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the exception, not the rule. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, two out of three, Charlie Cameron and the boys we currently got. Like, you know. Who, who's on the mural? Reynolds and uh, Paddy Carrigan. Yeah, so that's pretty sick. Very sick. Very sick. I think that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. I just think it's a sign of greatness that they're throwing up murals about them. Look, I, I think it's one of great things are, to come. murals are great. I just think it's unfortunate that one of the last ones we did was Chris, Chris Lynn, Lynn. Yeah. and then we went on to lose. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know there was a Chris Lynn one. So yeah, it I, fu- it's like you know when you're sorry, you got a terrible sense of direction. So I'll try. And I do. Explain. Yeah. You know that pub we went to with Burmo um, last. Fucking, yeah, the Carrington. Yeah, the Carrington. Yeah. That crossways well. when you're coming back towards the hospital on the left hand side. There's a massive fucking wall. Yeah, yeah. Near like La Bubbles and yeah, shit. Yeah, sort of yep. near there. Yeah. And Great sense of direction. Yeah. They did that. Um, <laughs> they did that and did Chris Lynn. Yeah, right. And that yeah. might be where this one is too. I haven't oh, actually no. seen it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I've seen if photos, is, but not. That is bad, Juju. There's one on Osborne Street. They, they did a Queensland Maroons one there for Origin 3. Oh, no, I don't think it, it might and be. It was I, Cam Munster, actually. Mm, yeah, right. So just another great, a little yep. spice onto that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. In a maroon jersey, though. So anyway, yeah. Donnie, who are you awarding um, victory on, to? I've Who's winning? my last point. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you're literally not going because you're fucking spineless. <laughs> and that's why the Storm's going to win. Sure. Okay. Sure. Because you, they don't have the support of someone who's meant to be their biggest supporter. I'll be fucking supporting him, bro. Yeah, don't you worry about that. There. Yeah, well, fuck. What's the theory again? The further away Darcy gets from Suncorp, the, the shitter they go. No, the better they go. The better they go. How did well, that go last week, Chief? <laughs> not good. I was so overseas. <laughs> <laughs> and they lost, so... No, it doesn't count in international waters. <laughs> <laughs> Broke idiot. the barrier, yeah. Turn your brain on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. From where if I'm If you're sat, in Bali yeah. and they did that bad, getting closer, and the theory would then be the closer you are to Suncorp, the worse they go... Wait, no, what? but I just said he's broken international law. It doesn't, it doesn't count. Yeah, but this is my law. <laughs> <laughs> Different laws. I think they're fucked. <laughs> he's caught. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, currently as I'm sat here with taking on all six arguments, I'm really rooting for a draw. <laughs> 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 a nil all draw. <laughs> what? Would, would they play? No, they just keep gold keep, point keep going. Golden point. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going, yeah. Fuck. Um, or if it's Queensland Premier Rugby, you <laughs> give it to whoever finished higher, higher on the ladder. ladder we'll no take it. We'll time. take it. The beer taste just as good. Like you, 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 you I remember never that. more before upheld the intro of this show saying stats and statistics. If you want that, you can fuck off because that was just that in a nutshell. And yep. the bickering, again, like I talk often about how you two don't hear yourself when you talk to each other. Yeah. It's quite fun to be sat here and think that must happen all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I think... <laughs> yeah. That is usually the caliber of our arguments. <laughs> well. We never actually argue about anything seriously. Yeah. <laughs> to sum it up, neither of you rebuttaled each other successfully. I yep. think neither of you put a f- point forward successfully. Yep. <laughs> so it should be a great game of footy is what you're saying. <laughs> so I I'm want you no point <laughs> and may God have mercy on you. I'm going to back in the Broncos because I want us all to go to the prelim in two weeks. <laughs> Fair point. That's fair. Fair reason to That's choose fair. that. <laughs> well, look, I hope you enjoy the game. I think it's yeah, going to be a too. cracker. I, I hope I you enjoy the game be, too. Uh, I reckon it'll be game of the round. Yeah. yeah. I think, oh, I think it will be too. 
I actually think I, I genuinely think it will be. I also genuinely think that it could be a fucking Broncos Storm Grand Final. Yeah, I, there's we, something like Broncos just have this Storm, thing about them. Storm easily worried me the most. I think Pe- really, I think Penrith there. There's a chink in their armor. They're beatable, mate. And then I think there's just seen what they've done on Saturday. Yeah, to your yeah. team, they didn't yeah, even make that the eight. Team was like a prelim last year, didn't they lose the week before Panthers? P- Panthers, yeah, yeah. They lost yeah. the power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't you just lose to the storm? Yeah, but um, that's yeah, but it's a storm. <laughs> yeah, but like Top also, I'm not, not saying I'm not saying no. that my team's. I just think that the Panthers are beatable. That's all I said. They literally lost to Parramatta two weeks ago. Who you just said? So sucked. this is this would be your path to the finals. Like um, the only team in the bottom of the eight that I can see contesting is the Knights. Yep, agree. So I think if the Knights win, they got the Raiders. They, yeah, if they beat the Raiders, they play the loser of Panthers Warriors. Anyway, we're going to do a bracket later. Should yeah, we save yeah, this? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll sorry, save it I'll about that. <laughs> but I'm with Josh. I think no game of the round. Bracket, though, because if it's a t- if it's a if it's a three man vote, I feel like I know who's going to be in the final. <laughs> yeah, well, I think uh, Josh is right. Game of the round. Um, Panthers are beatable, and apart from the Knights, no one else scares me except Storm. So. Wild. Yeah. You wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some good rugby league football and hope everyone has a good time and, and a fun time. <laughs> Righto, guys. So on yesterday's pod on the regular Wednesday show, I brought up two scat thoughts of the week and I left everyone on an absolute cliffhanger. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Congrats, you made it this far. Yeah. Welcome back. Um, essentially, I want to see what the ultimate animal would be in a team-based scenario, we could probably argue a, a single sportsman if you want. Mm. Um, maybe off the bat, what were you going to say? Because I reckon I got the same. If it's, do you have two different ones? I just have one. Oh, okay, cool. All right, don't say it then. <laughs> so essentially, um, yeah, I want to see what is the ultimate animal, whether it be land, air, or sea-based animal for a team sport. Uh, what did you think, Don? It has to be a chimp. A chimp. Because they're most like humans. They're most like a human. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. They're vicious, they're aggressive, they're quick, they can jump, they can run, they can bite, they can scratch. (laughs) Yep. They're so much like a human. Some some say (laughs) they're the closest thing on earth. Yeah. Yeah, right. I think that anything else but a chimp, I'm trying to wrap my head around it making sense. I saw three of them attack a lady in Bali. It was pretty funny. (laughs) Pretty funny. Not like they didn't physically hurt her. They just like tried to steal her towel (laughs) and it was fucking hilarious. So you're saying chimp, not like ape or like anything like that has to be a chimp specifically or just like monkeys in general? Chimp like uh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. You know those ones that can talk? Well, it's not Planet of the Chimp. It's (laughs) Newsflash, that's also not real. They don't talk. No, well, not yet, but in a few years. <laughs> not yet. When they start <laughs> playing in the Melbourne Storm system, they'll be talking in no time. <laughs> you need to your fucking chat up if you want to play for the Storm. <laughs> I tell you, he's a fucking wizard. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, they, uh, what, no, well, they, I thought apes were like big, big things, and they're closer to a chimp than an ape. Oh, I see what you mean. So you yeah, want to okay, be a bit more yeah. mobile and robust. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. Give, me uh, the, give me the main uh, hero from Planet of the Apes, the one that can talk. Give me 13 <laughs> of those. Yeah, sure. Right. I went the humble ant. Yeah, okay. And they, they bat so far above their weight, those things. Yeah, that's true. And they work together unbelievably yeah. well. You can't deny but if that. You, if, you, if you have a team sheet and there's 13 chimps and 13 ants. you got a shit game of footy on your hands. you got all well, the chimps of one. How? Have they? 13 ants. Yeah. 13 ants. Do you know how long it would take an ant to cover 100 metres? 10 metres it would take them. At, like... Yeah, and but what happens if we're playing on an ant playing field? Yeah. You know what I mean? Chimps won't even Let's ever see the ants. the same size. They'll be underground digging tunnels, bro. No, no, no they well. can't be the same size. Okay, though. well, maybe they can't. Well, it's Josh's, it's Josh's game. It can be whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> we're just thinking about all different scenarios. Yeah, you need to open your mind, so what, Donnie. So he's, he's backed in chimp-sized ants then? Well, maybe. Well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking ant-sized ants, but sure. Well, that, the they probably chimps. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They could be ant-sized chimps. Then you're fucked. No, no, okay, we'll keep it fair. Oh, an ant. Yeah, interesting, interesting. So, what do you go? Mine, okay. I'm out with dad on the weekend, <laughs> having a look around. You better not say whiting or something. And all I could see was just all these different structures, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, what is the most pivotal part to a team? Foundation. Foundation. What happens from foundation? You get structure. Yeah. Do you know what fucking fiend structure? What? Fish. <laughs> Fish. Love structure. structure. 
All right. If you put a fish around structure, they fucking thrive. Like around a shipwreck underground, underwater. Any sort of structure. All right. You're not going to see a fish out of the open water. All right. Sure. Because there has to be some sort of structure around it for it to thrive. Yeah, okay. So essentially, can you imagine, all right, you get a fish, you get a bunch of fish and you put them into the, the Melbourne Storm Not system. Not the Cowboys system. Not the Cowboys, but you put them into a good system that has <laughs> proven winning, proven structure, just seems to work. The Woody Point Bridge. Exactly. Any, any fucking structure, you put them around that, yep. they're going to absolutely thrive. And I think, as we've said before, on this show, that... For a team to be successful, they have to have structure. When you, what we said three minutes ago, they yeah, need structure. What what sport? <laughs> Any sport that follows structure. But you've limited yourself to water-based activities. Not exactly. I've actually got... I think in fact that you've limited yourself to swimming. <laughs> I don't know if I can... Um, Maybe water polo. I do, I've even debated this at work. And one of the boys, I, don't know, I haven't hooked up, but maybe I can just play it through here. This would be good. So I just had a thought. You know how you're talking about fish and sport? So if they did grow legs and like became like us, right? Fish were naturally that good at sport. That would mean that they would be better than us at fishing. So then would they fish for us? I would like to Why know. Why is it still got... <laughs> you fucking kept me up. Fish, fishing for humans. <laughs> what if fish are actually fishing for humans and they just tricked us and we think that we're fishing for them, but actually they've tricked us? <laughs> oh, this is the start of a deep fucking rabbit hole, cunt. And this is where I've wanted to go with this. Is Before right? we go I any he further, has a scat thought of the week, most minutes. How <laughs> many Hong Kongs has that cunt had? That's yeah, what I want to know. It's been a long day. That was fucked. Work? I feel dumber from listening to <laughs> that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. It was after work. No, no. <laughs> well, he he wouldn't know where he was anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a Snapchat after work yesterday. Shout out to Dan and um. It made me think. I was like, holy fuck. All right. So we can all debate what our animals would do. But imagine if they could grow. So that's why. An ant is very good. Ants right. also love structure. Did you ever yeah. have an ant farm as a kid? They love structure. Yeah, Building tunnels do. and shit. Like, I think I'm just like, I'm quite a creative guy and I really try and like dive in. I'm at a loss here. I'm thinking about like sport. Right? Yep. yep. Like sports, like yep. the Olympics. Let's say the ants enter the Olympics as a country. You think they're coming anywhere near chimps? I'll, I'll sh- might, this might shock you, Don. Uh, ants isn't a nationality. <laughs> they're yeah. a type of... A species. Say there's a species Olympics. Yeah, okay. And the ants enter. Yeah. And you, it's, it's like, these are... Like even at, what are they doing in high jump? Okay. Not a thing. Well, what do you mean? Well, what, what about what weightlifting? Yeah, weightlifting, what about, exactly. Because weightlifting is all done on your weight. It's all done on your body ants. weight. That's multiple ants. No, it's, no not. it's not. It's done on a percentage of your body weight. So ants, okay, so I believe. One gold. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> weightlifting, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I still reckon a chimp could probably fucking have a crap. Yeah, I do. Yeah, the chimps look pretty strong too. Ants can lift objects up to 5,000 times their own weight. That's insane. Rocked. Okay, so, so imagine weight, them. So weightlifting, weightlifting, they got it locked. Yeah, discus. Yep. Locked. No, Shot no, put, no. Hammer throw. An ant couldn't throw a discus further than a chip. Yes, it could. An no, ant size. It could. An ant size discus. It could. Because the discus discs aren't based. You off said you're a creative of person. Open so your think mind, man. Think outside the box. Think outside the box. The discus has become ant size. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. You I know. know. Crazy to you think know. about. Have opposable like ants would be shit at swimming. Yeah. They would drown. Oh, but that's where the fish come into their own. Yeah. <laughs> you, ever seen a, you ever seen a chimp swim? No. I haven't. I think the chimps are done in water. I think you take the chimp to water, that's they go to water. Oh, I don't think why fish and such a shit animal chimp then? in every single thing. Oh. I think that that is a scat thought. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Well, okay, because as Dan's brought up there, imagine that fish grew legs and shit, right? And they could actually compete. So because you've got them now running around and stuff like that <laughs> in structure... All right, they have been able to develop into that. Ants, for example, could get up to size. 
if a chimp's like us, they're sort of fucked. <laughs> if all these other animals are developing all these other things and being put into all these different sports scenarios, <laughs> imagine that, man. But like, it's a stretch to have this in the sports show, isn't it? <laughs> I just yeah, that's why I was thinking about bringing it up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it Loki feels like opposite day. Uh, yeah. we, we've had this insanity coming out of both your mouths, which would normally come from me, as well as just bias, bias, barracking for your own team. It's literally like fucking opposite day. Is this what it's like to do the show with me every week? Because Smile for I, the cameras. It's a prank. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ash and Kutch is going to come out and get yeah. well, I just think you're thinking about this too literally, Don, and you yeah. need to fucking have a bit of fun once in a while, mate. Mind. Yeah, I, was, you know. I, was, I, thought, I thought it was a literal question. Get the cameras. Really? You, you thought what animal would be good in sport was a literal <laughs> question? Well, I literally came up with it the best answer. It was for me! <laughs> <laughs> of course it's going to be weird, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> contribute shit. We're just changing the goalposts. Like, oh, what animal? If animals could actually be whatever and the sport is whatever. and it's just Yeah, there are no goalposts. It's the Olympics. <laughs> you should have just yeah. asked, hey, do you guys like animals? I like animals. Let's talk about it. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with sport, man. It's got nothing to do with sport. Well, if you want stats and analysis, fuck off. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah exactly. it's true, yeah. The door's that way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. All right, finals footy. Finals, 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 finals. Here we are. Uh, who better to come up with a finals lock-in than us three? Well, oh, a lot of people. Maybe a podcast <laughs> with three people whose team were in the finals, not two, but, <laughs> yeah. you know. Well, that's why I'm I'm a, I'm a impartial judge, much like I've been this whole show. <laughs> impartial sure, okay. as they come. Yep. And okay. what I like is it's going to be a three-man split. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our finals bracket and we're going to vote on it. Two people take it through. I have heard a lot of chat today about the Broncos and the Storm being the grand final, so I'm a little bit nervous that I'm a bit out outclassed in the room, but we'll see what we can do. I'll so try do, and be do you impartial guys as well. What we're about to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So we're yeah. going to so go through the whole it's thing. It's a group and we're see unanimous who wins the grand decision. Final. I wonder, yeah. It'd be interesting to see how accurate it is at the end of the season. Probably wildly inaccurate, but I whatever. think we'll get there. So Broncos, yeah. Storm. Friday night. Well, well you, I'm may going s- storm, you may as well but skip you two us. Boys are yeah. going Broncos. Well, whoever you choose, Donny, is going through. So I'm going to lock in. I'm going to lock in the Bronx. Yep. Okay, fair enough. I respect your decision. Penrith was at Blue Bet Stadium. I Panthers. Think, I think the Panthers get it done. Yeah, yeah. I think, but I do think I saw something that the line is like. 12 and a half yeah. or something like that. Really? Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot closer. Uh, like the Waz seem to be dialed in, but I think Penrith are looking to cement themselves as like a Regardless, the Waz will get a home final, right? Yep. The yep. line's 13 and a half. I think, yeah. Crazy. Pen- Pen- Penrith at Blue Bed, it's just a fortress there. Yep. yep. Absolute fortress. Okay. Sharks, Roosters. This is tough. I'm it's going a shark park. It's a sellout. I'm going the Sharks. I, I think the Sharks too. Really? I yeah. like the Roosters here. They've won five on the trot. The the confidence that you get from that. Who have they beaten though? Like that's a... I don't actually know that, but like just... I'll, I yeah, can look I'll it up here, Donnie. Uh, well, they beat South last week. And yeah, South but were South's odds on favourites to do the whole thing. South's have... I just had the worst capitulation in history, so I wouldn't read well, too far. Seven of their last ten. Um, I'd, I'd never wish good things for the East ever, but I think... The Sharks are just so up and down. They so beat, up and down. Sorry, just to go back. They beat the t- Souths, the Tigers. Oh, fuck. This thing's annoying. Um, oh, how have I missed it? Oh my God, the Eels. Mm. Um, the Dolphins. And... Oh, I've missed it again. How Here we goes? go. Rabbitos, Seagulls. Yeah, Rabbitohs, Tigers, <laughs> Eels, Dolphins, Seagulls. They lost to the Roosters. Before that, they beat they the They lost Tigers. to the Broncos. They are the Roosters. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> lost to the Broncos. <laughs> lost to the Titans. Lost to the Storm. And then yeah, they had that, a bye. And then they lost to the Manly. Run. Lost to Raiders. That was all pre the run. So, in the run, they haven't didn't beat either of the top two, top eight teams they played. That's they fair. only beat bottom eight the teams. the Sharks are just like so... Hit and miss. So, but Shark uh, Park. Though, Shark right. Park sold out. I agree it'll be a tight game, but I think... All right, we're back in the Sharks. I think the yeah. Sharks win. Knights, Raiders. Surely Knights. the Raiders Knights. aren't a hope in hell. Yeah. Yeah. No, Knights, Knights by a million. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. That the, that game has similar odds to the Panthers-Warriors game, which I think is crazy because mm. I think it'll be way closer. Mm. Like I, I think that's 1-12 to 12 territory Panthers-Warriors, and I think the Knights win by 20 against the Raiders. Yeah. So. Yep. This next week of finals would be very, very interesting then. You, you're faced with... Warriors Knights oh, in New fuck. Zealand. <laughs> That'll be one of the most entertaining fuck. games. Like that is that I'd, is so tough. I'd back the Wars, mm. but I'd also not be surprised to see a KP masterclass. I think. Mm, 
I'm the, going. I, I think the Wars though for me. The, yeah, I, the Knights. I really want it to be a fairy tale, but it's just too. They don't have the cattle. Yeah, they yeah. have. They're obviously all playing out of their skin. Their systems are doing very, very well. But I don't think that they're the guys. Yeah, and I think they like you're gonna be tired soon. Yeah, like mm. you're gonna get tired and to to go to New Zealand. I don't know. I think they're going to have an amazing game on Sunday at Newcastle. It's going to be awesome. It's a sellout. That's great. But to go over to New Zealand, who have just lost to Penrith. There will be so many people the there as well though, going mental. Yeah. Like, they are riding the wires so hard. The only thing that has me also sort of thinking the Knights, though, is we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago. There was five games that they lost by just less than four points or it was like two points or something like mm. that that were to, like, Legitimately yeah. good teams at yeah. the start of the season. Yeah. If they win a couple of those, they're in the top four and we're probably having a discussion about do the Knights beat the Warriors at home? Yeah, that's You know fair. what I mean? But fuck but it is hard. Like, this sucks. Like, I understand if results go your way, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't. Yeah, like, yeah. They, didn't. they yeah, didn't. Yeah, yeah. You know? So well, I'm saying they have that potential. Yeah, though. yeah. Um, I'm going the Waz. I'm going the Waz. Yep. Oh, Waz in. And then That'll be such a fucking good game. Storm Sharks in Storm. Storm would be one of the all-time... Chokeouts, I reckon it would be a dead game. Yeah, really boring. Shit. Fifty points, and <laughs> and Storm would just choke yeah. them. I reckon out. they'd just completely and utterly destroy them. Nico yeah. Hines would be getting flashbacks to his times in Melbourne, and just he'd probably don a jersey and run out for the boys or something. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, he'd really want to be back in Melbourne. Well, that takes us to a prelim. This is going to be fucking so hard. Broncos Panthers. So Panthers versus Storm at Blue Bet Stadium. Oh. Fuck. I just <laughs> okay. I'm I'm going to say the storm here, and I know that you're going to hate it, Donny. But I have said from the start of the season that the Panthers won't make the GF, I know. and I think there's chinks in their armor, and I think they're beatable. And if anyone in the comp is going to beat them, it's going to be the storm. storm. I don't know, man. The the Penrith Panthers. This is one of the greatest sides ever assembled. Well, it doesn't matter. It's two on one. I know, but like <laughs> just 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 to, just to sell it, like it no, is. No, I I hundred percent agree. What, like this current. Penrith side is so good. What's difficult for me here is that I believe the Panthers could be the one team to go three in a row. Never yeah, happened I, before. I, never happened before or hasn't happened for a long time long or time. some shit. Not in the NRL era. Not in yeah. the NRL era. I believe they have the cattle to do yeah. that, but based off this bracket, I don't think they beat Melbourne. I, I, I don't know, man. Like Storm in at Blue Bet... Is just like not it, it hasn't worked in the past. Cam Munster has come back to Melbourne just to win premierships. He's got unfinished business. He's been knocked out by Penrith. He's lost to Penrith. I dare say he hates Penrith. I Everyone hates Penrith. Like <laughs> I know Penrith hates the storm too. Yeah, I just I'm not gonna come on your podcast and tell you that your team isn't gonna make the GF. That's not what I'm here to do. So I will well, fuck fuck it also like, such I will, a good game. Such a good game. I will though. back it in, but I just think Jesus, it's it's like it's tentatively from yeah. my end. It's very timid because yeah. I just think Penrith, I can't, I honestly cannot see a world where they don't go three in a row. Yeah, I think that's crazy talk, and I wouldn't be surprised if they, they do go three in a row. Two games this year. Yeah, they lost. Like, they lost I, a weird game in Ballarat. Dude, I to think West, what, absolutely. What I think, what I'm saying is, I think they're beatable. They've shown like they're <sighs> not unbeatable, and the, the, the caliber of the other teams, like the Broncos and the Storm. Are the types of teams who can knock them off? This also, isn't this isn't the Panthers versus the Tigers or the Panthers versus the Roosters. Like, ha, have a look at the, the Broncos this year have been fucking unbelievable. Like, if ever a team's going to beat this Penrith mm. team, it's going to be the Brisbane Broncos. Yeah, or, like, it, and, and it's flair against system, a hundred percent, and it, it's hu- it, it's two hardworking teams. But oh, fuck! All right, let's lock in the Storm. The Storm to beat Penrith. In I'm a also I, I, I also am. Think I'm being unbiased there. I genuinely think that the Storm would win that game. You have to. You have you to mean? feel that way. Because you'd shit your pants if you came up against Penrith in the grand final. I would. I'd <laughs> shit my pants either way, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I think... You have no idea how... If the Broncos in the grand final, I'm going to be a nervous wreck. <laughs> like, I thought about this today. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'd want to be with all of my mates or none of my mates. Because I will be fucking crying no matter what happens. Get your tickets. Yeah. We should definitely get tickets. <laughs> Broncos, <laughs> Warriors at Suncorp. That's where the fairy tale ends, right? Broncos. I, yeah. Broncos, yeah. All right. And that gives us a grand final 
of Storm Bronx. Somehow we got there. I don't know mm. how that happened. Storm Bronx, Jesus. Mm. If you two want to give me three reasons each as to why there would be one team to win Dude, that you know game. what? <laughs> I, I don't even... Yeah. Rewind. <laughs> I just... Uh, it's going to be fucked. I think grand finals... Um, it's fucked, but it comes down to experience, you know? Like, finals footy is a different fucking beast. And I just, I, I just feel maybe the, like, the Broncos do have the cattle, but do they have I, the experience? Do, like, in pressure situations in such a big game, like, is Reno enough to calm them down? I would be you know what I mean? Literally, like, I would be so surprised if the Broncos beat the Storm in a grand final. And I think this is one of the... The Broncos side is so fun to watch. Like, as much as it pains me to say. Mm. It, they're so fun to watch and they're so good, but it would genuinely surprise... I don't think that the Broncos could beat them in a nail-biter. The only way the Broncos win that grand final is by flogging them. Mm. Because the Storm are just so... Oh, so annoying to play against. Mm. Um, if, they, if the Storm find a way to get through yeah. Penrith, I think that they... But then again, that would be a war... That would be a Meanwhile, war. So the Broncos have to, just have to really pasting the wires those, up those here. Those games before, yeah, um, because <laughs> which we've hypothetically spun up. <laughs> yeah, no, but those games before, like let's say, let's say the, the Broncos playing the Warriors, the Wars, yeah, that, like, and I love the Warriors too. It's less of a war on paper yep. than Penrith versus like going a blue bet and beating Penrith in Penrith is different than beating the Warriors at Suncorp Stadium. Mm-hmm. Just is. Yeah. So the Broncos would be fresher. Fuck, it'd be a ripper, but. Oh, Dude, geez. I honestly reckon it's a toss of a coin. And I've, I say this all the time. Very I, difficult. I genuinely reckon you could put almost any team in a grand final and they could ups. You know what I mean? Like on a grand final day, it's fucking my, anyone's game. Like My saying, and this is from a purely like legit unbiased opinion here. <laughs> um, when you look at the halves, Ezra's fucking awesome. Adam Reynolds is awesome. Munster... And Jerome Hughes, yeah. though. It's that combination talent. that's mm. been together for ages. And you've seen what Munster's done in big games across, whether it be NRL regular season, NRL finals, or fucking state of origin. Mm. Even national as well. Like he just, think there's just something fucked that he can produce. Like... But you could argue that Reese Walsh and Paddy Carrigan had a similar vein this year playing Yeah, origin. yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. But, yeah. like... It's, there's just so many of those sort of I scenarios. Know. And the, the other fuck thing about it is there's so many pla- – like, if everyone in that game – if it is a Broncos Storm Grand Final and everyone turns up and plays out of their skin, it would almost be impossible to sp- – you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's almost yeah. going to come down to who doesn't turn up on the day. Yeah, yeah. What would be fucking sick, though, is the Sh- after party. Joint, joint premiers, we both yeah. win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it would be an interesting final because I feel like – there's a number of, you know, obviously origin boys that play together. Mm. And they just, there always seems to be, I wouldn't say, there's definitely a rivalry, but it doesn't seem like they fucking hate each other. Yeah, no. There's no. like a mutual respect between the Broncos and Melbourne. I think they like beating been. each other, though. Yeah, they like Would beating each other. Would I go? Oh, oh. Can you imagine if it was Melbourne Broncos? Broncos. We'd have to get tickets. Dude, I, like, I'm not even kidding. I don't know if I could withstand going. Like, I. I would be. I got scared today thinking about Friday night, and it's not even a must win. Like I would be. Yeah. I would be a nervous wreck. The thing is, and I think the bet. And the other thing is, if the Broncos didn't win, and I was at the stadium, I would like be so sad. The, you know the, what? This is this is the other thing, though. And let's say hypothetical, our teams are in. Obviously, one of us is going to lose. The other one wouldn't be fucking. Paying out on the oh, other. I would never speak to you again if you did that to me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I, mean? I will say, what? like, the pain in my chest when I was at the ground in 2015 and JT missed the conversion. Yeah. yeah. And I knew that we we're going to, like, it is. Bro, it I is get that the weight of that oh. is, like, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I no. got that watching third grade Jeeps. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I get way too invested. If, if the Broncos are in the GF, I think I'm crying no matter the results. So I don't know if I want to be in public for that. I cried in 2016 when Melbourne lost to the Sharks. I was also eight Bundy hand grenades dead. <laughs> 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 That's but the other thing. Like, you almost don't want to. Turn down a fucking no. grand final because you may never get the opportunity That's to go ever again. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'd ever get to go to a grand final again. Yeah. 
I, I, I think it'd be fucking blows. <laughs> it'd be so you good. you got to go. If your team's in a final, you just have to find a way to get there. Yeah. They, they, well, well, you know, you haven't been in one since 2015. Like, yeah. they, they're so few and far between. Few and far between, yeah. yeah. Fucking shout out to the Tigers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? 2005. Like, it's just fucked. There's so many teams that just don't experience it. And like, yeah. You know, yeah, the Dolphins, it. it's been 12 months. <laughs> 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 Dolphins well, have never played in a grand so final. So that's our bracket. A draw in the grand final. Well, it's up to you, Donny, because it's obvious who it's I'm going to choose. I think, I think the... I'm going to say the Broncos <laughs> win because Classy oh. wouldn't cry. <laughs> and if we all cry if they won. Yeah, I'll and if, cry anyway. I would cry if we lost. And if we, you know, but if we all went Klutzy, would pe- soldier on for the rest of the night. <laughs> I'd be going straight back to the hotel room. Not, I'm not even kidding. If we went to the grand final and the Broncos lost, I'd be going, I'm going to the hotel room. Seriously yeah. thinking, though, I think in a grand final situation, knowing what I know about both teams right now today, without seeing how the games play out, if it was those two in a vacuum, <laughs> How did that work out for you last time, in mate? A Dyson, yeah. In a Dyson. Take this storm, with a grain storm, of Dyson. Yeah. It, the Storm win that. Yep. The Storm win grand finals. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, that's our bracket. Um. Fuck. Thanks for tuning in. Keen as fuck for the finals. Just Same. Now. I'm so keen for Friday night clutch. It's gonna be so good. Really I'm keen for so almost every one of those games we just spoke about, even though they're yeah. not all, not even like real. I think the only game I'm genuinely not really that keen for is Sharks Roosters. Yeah. But I'm also keen to see the Sharks turn it on and smash it. Oh, no, I'm keen it, for it. It'll be game. a good game. I think they're both like pretty evenly yeah. placed, if that makes sense. It's going to be a good game. I just don't really care who wins because I think it's redundant. No, I just want to see the milk get fucked. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I Curdle, bruh. Joe anyway. Croak is a lovely guy, but see you, bruh. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, yeah, we'll you. see you Monday. Farewell, bye. Goodbye. <laughs>